Hello, everyone. Well, let's hope that the sound is good. I got the picture clear, but I want to make sure the sound is good. So if you can tell me that, I'm logging in also as a viewer just like you. So it's kind of weird to listen to myself and talk, but that's how I can see quick also. And it's such a delay. So if you leave a comment, sometimes it takes a little bit of time before I reply. That is the normal thing. It's just, I mean, it's live, but we get that lag and that is normal. I feel like I have something on my teeth. I'm sorry. Okay, I think we got it. I think so. So let me uh, close that so I don't have the echo. Perfect. I think the sound is good there. It sounds like the sound is good. And it looks like the picture is good also. So we are ready to uh, do a uh, stamping. So the class it's called that it's the envelope style and with that being said it looks kind of like the flap on an envelope and i'm going to share three different types to do it well i got quite a bit there so tonight with um <coughs> excuse me i got the hostess code right there the um s r7 X, Y, B, S, Z. Okay. With that code, whoops, I wanted to put back at the code. So with an order of 30, no sound here. Mm. Uh, I think you want to check here in because uh, it's no use for me to talk, but I'll if you can uh, reply to Mar Wagner. Um, she say no sound. I think everybody, the sound is good. So tell her to check her device. So with that code, the uh, 2R7XYBSZ, um, with an order of $30, you're going to get the download. The download so that I have all the picture of all the cards that I'm going to share. Plus, I'm going to add the card that I'm doing tonight because some of it I'm going to use design, a different designer series of paper. So it's a great way to um, add that. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm uh, reading the Wicked Fun. So that means you guys watch when I was at Tammy. It was so much fun, so much fun. So much time in the water, too. It was awesome. So... And with $30, you're going to have to download with it, have to add the host code, okay? Except if you order it's $150 and above. If you order it's $50, not only are you going to get the download, you will get a celebration. Now I'm going to really, really sound like a commercial here. Wait a minute. If you order it $70 or more with this host code, though it have to be the host codes for the class, you're going to get the monthly PDF that's here's the man. You, you can see it on my site. It's seven project, amazing project. That's the customer monthly appreciation. You're going to get that one, the one of tonight, plus uh, the celebration, okay? So, but you add, if you order, if it's not 115 above, you have to enter the O's code so I know what to send you. So, with that being said, I get Ollie at the other hand. So, she's the one answer uh, the comment. And we're going to have two door prize or spring prize. And that's going to be and the first one, it's three pack of ribbon. But wait for it. I have to back up here. Let me remove that. Yes, it's a necklace. If voila, is that the coolest thing? So yes, it is made with our designer syrup paper. So if you don't like it as um, a necklace, you can always put it like charm like on your purse and so on. 
but let me flip this down here so you can see it even better. Let me remove this. So here is one. It's a paper from two years ago. I had done a bunch of them, and I'm like, I wanted to give that away for a long time, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, I have to bring them out. So this is going to be the first one, okay? So here is one. So that's going to be about in the middle there. And then the next one, stay there. <coughs> Excuse me, that cough's still there for some reason. It is four pack of ribbon or trim. Well, you know, it's all bundled up together here. So you get four. And instead of, this is more kind of a brush brass. See, like a pewter maybe, a copper. So, so the the cable it's in the brown now the next one it's absolutely everybody can use ribbon absolutely that's i like to give stuff that when it's a stamp set well sometimes you guys got it i like to give stamp set too but i like to use um like consumable so then i know you can use it and here is in the black Okay, so that is the price for tonight. Okay, now let's move that aside. And we're going to start, like I said, a lot of it I'm using this different designer series paper so you can see the variation. What I'm sharing tonight, you can use many designer series paper, okay? Many designer series paper. So, I'm going to bring the first stash here. I'm going to start, I thought to keep this for the last because it's the easiest. So, sometime at the end, you know, we're kind of sleepy. But I decide to finish with, I'm going to go easier to complicated. Okay, put it that way. So, this one is as easy as it can be. Put it that way. Very, very simple. So, on this ear, it's a regular card. And with one of the designer series paper, you're going to make two cards. With that being said, with this type of card, it's way easier if you don't have a direction. What that mean, a direction? So your paper, it's not going in just one direction. It doesn't matter which way you're going to turn your paper. It don't matter. So this one, it's perfect for that. If your paper would go, let me show you an, a good example here. Um, <clears throat> I thought I had one. Let me... Well, do I have, do we have one now? We should. Let me check that out. Okay, get the perfect example right here. See this, the trees? That would not work for this. Okay, so you want something, this would be okay. This wouldn't work because it would go sideways. So your mushroom would be sideways. So with this style card, you have to make sure that it, the designer series paper can go in any direction. Like this one, it wouldn't go because the tree would float sideways or it can be upside down and the fox upside down and so on, okay? So I got the perfect paper. Same with, it was the coffee cup too or the teacup, the same thing. So you want a pattern that can go in any direction, okay? Perfect, I did find some. Oops. And here is another one, here we go. I wanted to find a few different ones so you guys see here, the 
flowers go in one direction. So for this size uh, style card, this paper will not work lovely, okay? Not at all. So I got other paper, uh, this cards that we're gonna do that could work, absolutely. But for this, it's better to have a paper that go for any direction. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna, all measurement, if you're wondering about all the measurement, the color I'm using, the paper and so on, it is all in the download. I'm putting the point and the point in the groove of the cutting. And here and here. Now this is gonna make two cards. So with this piece here, of one designer sear paper, we will make two cards. The card's going to be similar to those one, but what I done here, I use the gold uh, paper, that's the brush, and I stamp a joyful Christmas to you and yours, and I emboss it with white designer sear paper. <laughs> I emboss it with white powder. Oh my goodness, that is funny. Yes, that paper is so, so lovely. So now I like to build this piece first before I attach it to the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount that here. When it comes to this paper here, I like to use the Tombow glue. It seems it's a little bit friendlier. Yes, that gold is beautiful, beautiful paper. And it's three. Let me show you in the catalog here. I can show you that beautiful paper. Now I'm, <clears throat> I'm wondering. Here it is. So it's the, the gold and the rose gold. It's metallic, but it it's not like the foil. So it's very... Um, the foil, it's pretty too, don't get me wrong, but this, it's, it looks like metal, really. It really do look not like metal. So now this one, we just cut it, and like I said, this is the easiest way, okay? It's very different compared to the other one. The other one, you're going to say, oh man, this is very different, absolutely. So now I'm going to go ahead and mount that right at the top here. See, I got it the perfect size on each end. Now we're gonna, so right now it looks just like an envelope. Don't you agree? Perfect for an envelope. Now I'm gonna go to the other one right away and we go, I'm gonna do those two at the same time, okay? Because some of them I'm just gonna do one, but this here with one paper, we are doing two cards. So I'm doing the two at the same time. Now for the base, for this one here, let me let me back up the bus here. So this one gonna come right here. Oh, make sure it's glue. And again, I like my tombow with this. You can use the seal, the tape, the tear and tape, whatever that turn your fancy on. But uh, for me, with this paper, I really like the Tombow much better. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Samantha. So what about the, the voice? You were one having trouble with the voice. Is that better now? Yeah, I think my uh, light, it's amazing. And it was a tip that Penny shared with me, and I think it's the bomb. The bomb, the bomb, the bomb. Here we go. Now we're going to put that right here. The reason why I'm going to put the flap, what I call the flap with the envelope, it's a lot easier to do it on this paper when it's not attached to the other one. Yes, the goal is beautiful, beautiful. I agree 100%. Okay, inside, I just stamp the poinsettia that kind of match with that. It's not the stamps that go with that. That was the, it's all in the, the PDF, but this is the merriest moment, okay? So that's what I'm going to put inside. 
Yes, simple but elegant. I agree. You know what? I think us, all of us, card maker, we are still okay. Perfect. Muffle a little bit, but still clear. Perfect. Because I give up on that. It was like mm, perfect, perfect. Um, we try to add more and more and more to the cards, and I think we don't need send 500 pound cards you know yes absolutely it's one of the cards you can mass product produce yes so this one here i call this that's it i'm not putting anything to this okay i want to share with you very simple okay so that is as simple as it gets we could add you know embellishment and so on but in this case, I want it just this way. And really, on the outside of the envelope, we cannot put too much usually, right? So we're going to leave that there. Now, now we're going to go to this. This is part of the, that new, uh, I know all we know the name because it's one of the favorite because it's all about hollies. And <clears throat> a leaf of hollies, okay? That's the bundle, the die that match with that. And well, I personally, this year was in my way. If I would have used maybe the paper, what it's called, um, the adhesive sheet, it would have been different. But without the adhesive sheet, it was so hard to put glue on this. And then I'm going to glue on that. I'm like, mm, no, thank you. So what I'm doing, I'm removing this. Uh, I'm giving it a little bit of an operation here just because. I don't want that extra frame. Okay. Now, in the back of this, I'm going to add another green. So this is a spruce. And then in the back, I'm using a mossy metal. See? Just to add some green. So we're going to go ahead. And, and after I cut it, I'm like, I could have really used the adhesive sheet in the back of this. Absolutely. But you know what? It was cut one after I thought of it. I'm like, oh, damn gummit. Okay. Now we're going to. And then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that with a dimensional. I know I got my dimensional out before class. So, oh, they're right here in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and dimensional. And when I put my dimensional, I like to overlap this one to make sure that they grab both. So now we're going to. And then I'm going to put that right here, just at the P there. Mm, neat place for my berries. Here we go. That should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the berries, it's the same, okay? I could add that. <coughs> okay, I need water. I could have had... And the adhesive sheet that would have helped, but I didn't. So now let me. Oh, it go this way. Okay, so now we know which way it goes. Let me put glue in the back of this. When you get little bits and pieces like this, I'm telling you, don't do what I do, but do what I say. Use those adhesive sheet. It's such a time saver and it's amazing. Okay. Now, if I want to put dimensional in the back of that, I cannot go there. I, because you see, it's going to get glued to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one little dimensional. I'm going to put it right at the bottom here. 
And then right here, this is going to go at the top on the, and I'm going to put that. Because if I put dimensional there too, it's going to be sideways a bit, right? Because it's going to overlap and not, and then voila. That's it. How simple that was. So this here, this one that I just share, this is the easiest one. And yes, it would be easy to mass, do a mass production on this, okay? And inside, this is just, I just stamped the hollies there. Here we go. So I mixed two stamp set in this. Here I just did the point set here. Okay, you, you know what? Now, you guys saw the, the whole scope. Let me remove that. I don't want that there anymore just because. Here we go. Um, it take away from the cards. You guys are here to see the cards, right? Here we go. So this is the easy one. Also, all these are easy to mail or friendly to mail. You will not uh, need extra postage even with this raised up, okay? Now let's go to two. So number two okay this is another one that you want your uh, paper to go in any direction okay that's going to be a lot friendlier if your paper can go in any direction see it doesn't matter which way i turn it it's going to go so now this one is a little bit different so this one i got the banner that's the, the, the suite of rustic, um, uh, rustic pumpkin. It's the stamp set. It's for a what? Um, are, are the rustic Hello Arvis, Hello Arvis, the bundle. So in the back, I stamp. You can see that. And then I got the greeting, the, the banner. And this just slide under there. See, boom. And this one here, I put it with a Velcro. When you use Velcro on most of our cards, you want the very, very fine Velcro. Okay? You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at a fabric store, Amazon, whatever. They're all over now. So, and here I stamp the leaves in the back and the little sunflower and I put the hello. It's all from the same suite. And then I color the pumpkin and I get two pieces of the paper here just to make it bigger, whatever, when you open it up. This one here, I use a piece of designer series paper just to give you a different view of it. Okay, so this one... We're going to do the same thing we did with the first one, but we're going to crank it up a notch. So we're going to go to the point, to the point, and we're going to score, and uh, not score, we're going to cut. First, we have to cut lift it up and go at a quarter inch. Bring it down to a quarter inch. Close this. Don't use the cutting. You're going to use the score. End score. Now we're going to do the same with this one. Bring it to a quarter inch. Now I'm going to this way because it's on that side. You can move it around and so on. Okay, at a quarter inch, again, you do not cut. You're going to score and score. Et voilà. Now you're gonna reinforce your score line that make it always easy. And I bet I'm just laughing when I say reinforce the, the score line because I'm sure all is laughing at the other end because when they would come to Cheyenne in my class, you know that my English it's not my my language, right? So uh, I didn't think about saying score line. So it, it's kind of a crack there, right? So I said, don't forget to reinforce your crack. So now every time I say to reinforce the score line, I'm just laughing. I can see them all sitting at my class laughing. So yeah, so many good memories. 
Okay, so this one here, I got And, okay, we're going to do one at a time. It's going to be easier. So we're going to take this here and glue it in the back there. Right in the back. Okay, we're going to glue that there. Never mind if it's go off a little bit. So what I like to do is leave that there. I like to use Tombow for this, much friendlier. And I'm going to add just a little strip of tombow here close this all the way tight now you're going to take scissors and you're going to cut it right here and you're going to cut it right here I like to go from the back so i can see if voila so now we're going to take this and attach this to the black part. Make sure that your flap is at the top. Here it's closed because usually this would be your opening. So it's good the other way. So let's reinforce our score line. Or reinforce. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I don't know why I thought of that tonight and now I cannot stop laughing. Here we go. So thank you all for joining us tonight. I don't know if you guys still hot as all can be, but here in Texas, we're on the lake. They had some rain this summer down in Houston and that, but on the lake it come, the rain come around and don't stop here. It is so dry. I never, I mean, the lake, it's way low. Some place you cannot even pull your boat. It is crazy. I never, never saw it like that. And then I'm going to take this and put it there. See, I am not adding anything else to this one. These, I had all the color card stock. But I wanted to give you much variation. And see, I am not even stamping on this one just because I want to give you variation. And two, uh, we don't have to stamp on everything. Now, when you put your banner, you want to make sure to put one Velcro at one end, one Velcro at the other end, nothing in the center, absolutely nothing in the center. And because your flap's going to go in. This, I stamp this on white, you can see, and I color it with uh, stamping blends. Yeah, you can send the rain. Tomorrow it's a 96% of rain here. So you all keep your finger crossed. We've been in the fire band for, I think, since June, in, since Memorial Weekend. Till now, I think it's my neighbor uh, measured the rain. We got uh, rain, it was 0.8 uh, one day and then another day 0.2, so uh, about one inch since Memorial Weekend. If you don't know when that is, it's in May and we're past the middle of uh, August. Yes, it's crazy. So see how this is simple? Now inside, I can keep it for I, it can be for birthday, it can be for many things. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right there so it's coordinate with the front, okay? I'm going to put it mm, this way. And I'm going to put that right there. So it's no right and wrong. It's whatever floats your boat with this, okay? Now, the next one here, that was the color I did the background stamp, color on color, and then I embossed this. And now we're going to put two. So we're going to go up. Oh, you know what? I like to do my this first. So this is going to go here. So just like the other one, open this up. Oops, let's make sure it's equally. Okay, open this up. Now you're going to put your glue. Yeah, see, 
some place are flooding, some place are in drought. We had fire in, uh, last week, just about oh, maybe 30 miles from here, I guess. And uh, it's just been nuts. It's been crazy, crazy. Yeah, you bring, you, come on, Ollie. Don't bring the snow this time, though. Absolutely no snow, Holly. Okay, now I'm going to keep that down. When you want to cut each end, keep your flap down, and then you're going to go cut. I think I need this way. Because you want to follow the, here we go. Cut and cut. Now we're going to take this and mount that over here. And that's good this way. That I can use my uh, seal though. It's no rain, it's all good. Mm. You were not saying that a year ago though. You know, we had that big storm in Texas two years ago. On Ollie's birthday, she was here and she arrived on Saturday and starting Sunday, we went out no water and she left without water. It was a fun, interesting thing. Oh yeah. Okay, now open this up. And like I said, um, for me, this year when it was the dark paper, I wanted, it, it looked kind of funny if I was just putting one at the bottom. So I decided to put both. To, to put two. So again, that it's all up to you. <laughs> That's because I didn't want to take a shower. We will remember that forever and ever. And here we go. Voila. How simple, right? So now this one here, you know, it pop up. Well, I didn't want a banner on this one, so I'm using that. They're very, it's like paper tin, okay? Some of it are circled too. Hmm, I couldn't find the circle. I don't know where I put them. So um, let me give you a little trick on uh, the, and I know Ollie's laughing because it's all those inside joke with those things. So you get an um, in the Velcro, you get one that it's soft and you get one that it's pokey. So the pokey, you want that at the top and the soft at the bottom. And that's going to be easier to open and close, okay? So I'm going to put, this was the one, the pokey. I'm going to put that at the top here. Which color, uh, this uh, one here, it's the, let me think, Merlot. And here. Uh, all this, it's all the same stamp set. It's the Elo Argus, all of it. The Elo Argus got those flowers too. Let me... So this one here looked like flowers, I mean, but see, and that it's part of this, and um, the hello it's that. So all of these, it's with the hello harvest. Let me remove this. So now you can see this one. So this one is Velcro. This one is just the tuck under the flat. Okay. I think the white is very, very neat. Very neat. Okay. Now, this one is similar, but not quite the same. So again, this one you can do Velcro to close, and this is the use of happiness uh, paper. This is part of the use of happiness. If you don't like to fussy cut, you can use the die to cut from the designer sear paper. And boom, see what I did? Uh, we're gonna turn this to be a gift card holder. 
and that it's one piece of the sinusoid paper that one part is going to be the flat, the bottom part going to be the, what you may call it. Let me think, the um, gift card holder. This is the same, okay? Absolutely the same. It looked very different just because I got the big flower instead of the small flower. And the small flower, it's raised up. And this is Velcro. And this one is stuck under. One thing, though, this one can go this way. Voila, when you open it up, boom. So I got one this direction. And I got one this direction here. Okay. Now let me share. So I'm sharing one because with one piece of paper, this one you just do one because we got the top and so on. But what um, about it? It's um, the piece that we're going to remove. That's what's going to do the the paper. So the gift card holder. So one piece of paper. First, we want to find the center. The center of this is three inch. So let's mark this at three inch here. And you want to make a mark, okay? Make a mark at three inch. All measurement, if you wonder, all the measurement, it's all in the uh, design, in the download. Now, you take where you mark it, you bring to the point and the point there. So the mark and the point. You're going to cut this. Flip this around and do the same thing. This and this. And cut. So you see, this is a little bit different from the other one there. I want to make sure I'm in the groove there. And cut. Now, these two pieces are going to become for the gift card holder. It doesn't matter if you do it portrait or um, a landscape, it's going to be the same way, okay? The same measurement for that. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to score this at a quarter inch again, because that's a tuck under also. So let's make sure I'm straight, it didn't look straight. Here we go. And we're going to cut this. And we're going to reinforce our score line. Here we go. Now, this one here, I went with Crush Curry. Why did I use Crush Curry? I used the color in this. And if you look at the use of happiness, I've been, this is a, Hard stuff that it's been very um, showcase. If you buy this, you will not have a problem finding IDs. Well, if I can find my home, that is that. Here it is. Okay. So with the use of happiness, so see, I got my triangle, my. Uh, square there but here are all the color that coordinate with that so depending which print you're going to use that's what i decide to use okay now this use of happiness for this one because my print i thought mm, i got that yellow there that it's the crush curry i thought that's going to go very lovely with that so this one, we're going to go ahead, and again, we're putting it there. Oops, see, it's a good thing I look. We're going to put that in the back there, because I stamped the flower, and that's happiness abound. That's all in the same suite, okay? So I'm going to go up here, and we're going to glue that there. So some are similar, but they're still different, okay? So it really, you get three different three, four almost different way to, the next one it's similar but still different. Now I got that there. We're gonna cut our, um, the side here just like we did with the other one. Cut and cut. And then we're gonna mount that on a knight of navy. 
So let's mount this on a Knight of Navy. I'm going to go ahead. And mount that on Knight of Navy. Here we go. Now for the for my flap here, what I done? I'm gonna put the flower there, but it's like this one. See, so I'm gonna decide where my flower is gonna be, and I'm gonna put my leaves there so for the leaves i'm gonna go ahead and just put glue on two tab there here we go and it's going to be about here you want to make sure you don't pass your card so it's going to fit in an envelope so all the cards i'm sharing tonight fit in our regular envelopes okay it's no special uh, and I don't want it really to pass just a little bit it's okay here we go now I'm going to take a dimensional well really I'm going to use two dimensional and I like to leave my point there so I know it will not interfere with uh, when I put my flower or when I close my tab because if I put the dimensional in the back of the flower, it's a very, very good chance that when I come here, boom, I'm going to glue it on top of my um, tab, on my flap, or I can put it that it won't slide at all. So this way, I know that I won't have no trouble, then it's just go. See all those little tips that I share with you? It could be a little bit lower, this one. I want it lower, though. Let me, oh, uh, I can do it lower, though. Let me do a little bit lower. Here we go. So the reason why I want it lower, it's because it's easier to close it, okay? Boom. Now, let's open this up. And now we got, oops, did I have glue here? I want to make sure I don't have no glue there. Okay, I'll get my. Okay, so now you're going to decide, like this one here, it's on the long way. This one, it's on this way so i'm going to do this way so it doesn't matter okay absolutely it don't matter oops this is go there you want to look see you have to look i had mess up but that's going to go there and this one's going to go here so let me share both ways <clears throat> so if you want to do it on this like this one here what you're going to do, you, well, this way, you're going to glue this. You're just going to glue a little bit at the bottom and on the side. And this, a little bit at the bottom and on the side. So you keep your pocket open. Okay. Now, for the other one we're doing tonight, like the other there. So we're going to go ahead and this going to go the same way over here and over here. And what I like to do this one, it's I like to use glue dots. I'm a big fan of glue dots. So I'm going to go at the point, about the center, point, center, and point. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. Oh, make sure it don't pass. Align this to the, my 45 degree here, hand goal. Et voila. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. See? So, oh, this I was off a bit. Let me wiggle, wiggle, wiggle a little, little bit. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, now let's go again. Point. 
And the reason why I like to use glue dots, because the liquid glue sometimes slides. Or if I use this, uh, oh, I had a glue dots right there. If I use the seal uh, or the tape, uh, sometimes it go too deep, okay? So I like the glue dots for that. Now, you know what? If that's the case, see, it's just a smidge, but that smidge, it's enough to uh, drive me nuts. So I'm going to cut it off. Nobody's going to see it, but it's just when I place this one, if this one is cricket, this is going to be cricket. It's just craziness. So you want to make sure you don't put any on that angle. No, because see, your card needs to go there. So you don't want to put any on the angle. By the way, I forgot. So how can you enter to win um, one of the prize? And it's time for that. It's if you left a, a message, a comment, you get to enter automatically. Now, this is Facebook, okay? With Facebook, it's, um, I don't have no control on that. That is, um, when we're live, you can only put a comment if you log in with your Google account. Many of you already log in with your Google account and you don't even know. So if you put a comment you, and you can't, you're trying to put a comment, you can't. If you get a Google account, you want to sign in. If not, I'm sorry. That's a, a, a YouTube thing. So our first winner is going to win the three pack of cards. So if you arrive late, it's three, not pack of cards, ribbon, three of them. And then you get that beautiful um, choker. Oops, I tried to make this one. <laughs> See how pretty it is? Or you can put it around a purse, or you can put it wherever. Some of you maybe want to use it as a um, um, bookmark, or whatever you want to do with it. Okay? And so our first, and we're going to have another winner at the end. So our first winner is, and I'm going to say, um, before I announce the winner, if you're not in the U.S., please tell us right away so we can put, pick another winner. I can only mail the product in the U.S. So if you're not from the U.S., I'm still going to send you a card, but we're going to pick another winner. That is stamping a policy, okay? So our first winner, it is Marsha. R L it's H A R L A M E N T. So to claim your prize, Marcia, you need to go at FrenchyStamps.com and right at the top, you're gonna see contact me. So you're gonna go at FrenchyStamps.com. At the top, you're gonna see contact me and send me your mailing address, and I'm gonna send that tomorrow so you all need to be present to win so you need to claim your prize when we're done so tonight okay now we're going to finish this card and then we get another card and then we're done so i'm gonna glue this at the top here and then this here let me grab um, <clears throat> This is the same size, really, than a gift card, so it's easy. See? It fits right in. Okay, I see you guys say Marshall. So I, I'm the one. Yeah, it's M-A-R-C-I-A. <clears throat> so, and I'm sure you guys feel what I say, right? Here we go. Okay, let me remove that writing. Now we don't need that. Here we go. So here is the gift card. And then it's just stuck right in there. So there's one. So there's was another one. It's the same thing, just different um, on a different layout. So you get the envelope stand up. And then this one here, it's the Velcro. Et voilà. How about that? And I all stamp with <clears throat> the aptness about uh, the background of this. So you get the whole suite of this. So you get the paper, you get the stamp, and you get the die. The die will die cut 
the paper. No, this is the uh, spring um, punch. So I use the punch for the leaves, okay? Et voila. So last but not least. So well, let's move along, move along, move along. A little drink of water. Okay, this one is very similar to what we just did, okay? Very, very much. But if some of you are not in um, gift card, so we're going to do a card with it. So if you don't want to, you know, use a gift card, that is fine. So first thing, this is really the only stamping I'm going to do tonight, just because I want to show you something that, let me see. Grab a piece of paper here. Okay, so um, this one here measure um, that's four and a quarter by eleven square, five and a half. Now, many people ask me, what do we do with that? For me, any piece like that that it's got weird design, like this or the one in. Uh, let me see here. This, right? That it's awesome. It. It's many other uh, stamps to that we get, uh, like this. It's just some bits and pieces that we're not sure what to do with it. They're the best, okay? Absolutely the best for me. See this here? This one, it's one of my favorite, okay? One of my favorite. Now, what do I do with that? Sometimes, I'm going to say like uh, my friend Lens, she say, it's make it. Well, meaning the card is missing something. We need to dress it up, right? So in this case, I'm going to put this here, and I am using crumb cake. And did I? I think I did the whole shebang thing. No, okay. So you're going to flip your card in, in the back, and then you're going to do a frame around it. Like I said, sometimes you're just missing a little something, something. It can be in the background or it can be inside too. Et voila. Check that difference. Is that amazing, the difference it make in this? I think it makes quite of a difference. You know what? That looked very bright. Let me adjust one thing here. Here we go, much better. I had a light usually, I don't turn and et voila. So now you see the inside. So for this one, again, it's very similar like the gift card, but instead of the gift card, we're going to do um, a, an extra card. And if you notice, this type of card, it is perfect for um, if one direction, you know, if it follow a direction. You're going to have maybe to flip, and you're going to see that. So you have to pay attention, even if for the front it's perfect, if it go in one direction. But the back, we're going to have to use the back, and you're going to see what I'm talking about in a minute. So again, we're going to go at three inch. So I'm going to mark this at three. No, it's not three this. It is, yes, it's three. I'm sorry, three. So I marked that at three. So let me make a mark that I can see there. And I'm going to put that in the groove and the point in the track also. Cut. And this. And this. Then cut again. Okay. 
Now again, we will, on the long way, score at a quarter inch. It's just a little bit. I could have my paper bigger and score longer, but I'm like, why? I play with those size to make it try to work very lovely with our paper and our card. Here we go. Now we're going to fold this. And here is the card that we are doing. So you see uh, around, it was missing something, something. And then inside, all around. So here is the card. I get my paper mix here. I'm going to have a fiasco. Okay, so this is going to go at the front. So let's glue this in the back. You want to make sure it's not inside the card, okay? I should have pointed that out. You want that in the back. You can even put it there if you want. You want this in the back of the card. The back, the back. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so, so good giving me compliments. No matter what kind of day I have, right? When I go live, you guys just bring me to, raise me up all the way to the top. Here we go. Now, yes, again, we're going to cut that off. Cut and cut. Here we go. Oops. A little sliver here. Voila. Okay, so now we got that. This is going to go on our Cajun crates. Oops. The burn thing here. Here we go. And again, the top open at the top. Usually it open at the bottom, right? Our card always open at the bottom. Well, for everything we did tonight, it open at the top. Yes, you are right, Bev. They're not complicated. I think with my instruction and uh um, measurement, everybody can duplicate this. And now inside, I'm going to put just a strip of designer circular paper. The other one, I put it at the bottom. This one, I'm going to put it at the top. So whichever floats you, right? Whatever you feel like. Now, this is all is the man or it's not is the man. What, what is the name? Uh, is all that. And that or pretty much our customer appreciation it's around this it is amazing don designed it it is amazing now i'm going to take oh now this one i got those two that just got mixed or right, here it is <clears throat> so this one again this one to hold our flap so we cannot put our dimension above that right because you know what's going to happen so what I like to do for this one, I like to put this at the bottom. See, this is going to come right here. But I like to put two small run right there. I didn't do that first, but I think it keep it close better. So I'm going to put a small one there. And a small, this is optional, okay? Uh, don't worry if you don't do this step. It's just optional. I just think that it keeps the that little frame more tight. Here we go. Now I'm try to put that straight here. If voila, how pretty that is. So that is just a regular card can be done for any occasion you can do that for many many things so this is gonna get just shoved in the back there now for this 
This one I used the rectangle stitch die. Yeah, I used a die. I'm going to be honest. It was left over from another thing. So um, this is going to be here. And see, I cannot put it here. It's going to be upside down. See what I'm saying? Oh, not working so much. Don't work so much. So I have to put the back of it. But I like that because it gives me a different uh, variation, right? So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to mount this. So that was the same size when we did the gift card. But sometimes we, like if you send a get well card or thinking of you or whatever, you don't need to send a gift card, right? So this one, you can use the same thing. But use it uh, for uh, making another card and not a gift card. So you don't waste it and so on. And now this is going to go on early espresso layer. Like this. Kablooey. And then this is going to go on our card base and then we're going to put our center there and again this is all from the same designer series paper and it's what this month customer appreciation uh, it's around and it's funny because um i've done this class oh gosh before the wedding so it was june and Dom did the PDF. She sent me that at the end of July. So it was way done. I was like, ah, oh, that's perfect. Okay. Now, let me show you one more thing. If voila. Is that cool? And that was the card that we finished the inside this way. So we're going to have one more winner. But before that, I want to share. So this was the same here. In here. See this one? It's all part of the same set. I just use a different one. Let me share with you one memento. About sesame. Okay, on my blog, when you go there, I told you the winner there. Um, the winner is going to be at right at the top. Contact me right there. So you're going to click on that and click again. You have to double click on contact me and then you're going to enter your information here. You don't see it except if I go sideways. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to my blog, and this was the class of tonight, but if you go back just one, you're going to see, I don't have the monthly uh, customer appreciation because I didn't want to interfere with both, and right here you get the O's code in case you forgot it, you can copy and paste from there. And let me back up one. So this was the post of yesterday or the day before, whatever day it was. But here is this month customer appreciation. So you can see it's seven projects using this designer series paper. You get chocolate uh, pullouts. You get the nugget holder with a card. Very, very lovely. So if you struggle with masculine part, maybe you want to bump your order at $70 and you're going to get the download of this plus the download of this month, customer appreciation and a celebration. So, okay, so this was one. And this was about the same style, but this is with a gift card. Okay, gift card holder. And the next one, oops, I want to get stuck there. And then this one here was very simple, just a flap with one 
square of designer sewer paper, with this one, you do two cards. And then the easy, easy one that if you want to mass production <laughs> with another one piece of designer sewer paper, you're doing two cards also. Here we go. So I oh so let me share like one one and then this was another one and then here. So really it was four different way. I said three, but really deep down it's four. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy sharing with you all. And let me uh, share the OSTIS code one more time. Oops. And so the OSTIS code with an order of $30, you will get the download of this. If you want the monthly download, celebration, and this download that is with an order of $70, but you still have to enter the code 2R7XYBSZ. Now, our last winner always sent it to me when I popped the thing. Some of you saw it, some of you didn't. Her name is Bonnie Morris. So, congratulations, Bonnie. You need to claim your prize. So, you got the four packs of ribbon with the black choker, or you can use it, like I said, a bookmark. You can use it as a, a single thing on your purse, whatever you want to do it. So congratulations, Bonnie. And then Marcia, 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 I don't know how to say his name, but congratulations, you all. And also thank you so much for all of you that joined me. Save the date, September 30th. Uh, Ollie and I will be live for, um, ooh, I put ink on my shirt. Ink on it. I'm sorry, um, September 30th, we will be live for mystery um, stamping. So I just saw I got all black on my a white shirt. Why would I wear white anyway, right? That's not, that's not a color that I'm allowed to wear, I think. So that is it, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping and have a great evening. Bye-bye for now.